Good morning, Western Row. I'm Chris Nolan. And I'm Mary Allison Mitchell. We have your announcements. Any senior who is not taking a senior English class and would like to vote for Mr. and Miss West Monroe High School need to report to Miss Barron's room. That's room 4206 during these announcements. Interact members, you will have your dance practice in the old gym at 5.30 today. You need to make at least two dances to be able to dance. Keep an eye out for a SAD member or tadpole to support. Say no to Domestic Abuse Month. Individual members have bracelets and support cards selling for only $1. They will also be selling glow-in-the-dark bracelets during both lunch shifts on the boardwalk. Let's end domestic abuse and support these groups. The newly elected Vox Popoli officers for 2012-2013 school year are President Shelby Hust, Chancellor Levi Slack, Treasurer Ariel Dyson, Secretaries Chloe Hennon and Dena LGR, Tech Coordinator Matt Brandle, Reporter Joey Hagera, Creative Council Mike Brandle, Davis Thurman, and Connor Underwood. Congrats to those kids. Li the library will be hosting Novels and Nachos Days today on both lunches. You'll hear about the Louisiana Teen Reader's Choice Awards and new books will be available. They will also be serving free nachos and a soft drink, so don't miss out on those nachos. Art Club will have its next meeting Tuesday from 3.15 to 4.30 in Mrs. Langefield's room, 1107. The Drama Club will have a meeting tomorrow after school in the drama room to discuss and rehearse for homecoming. The meeting will last until 4.45. Don't forget to sign up for the blood drive today on both lunch, shifts, lunch shifts. You must sign up to be considered for a donation. The library and tech department will host our annual Johnny's Pizza Pig Out on October the 30th at both the Warren and Wallace locations. This pizza pig out will be from 5 until 8. Please come out and support our tech department. Any student 18 years and younger who wants to get the flu, gets a flu shot can go to their school-based health center during their lunch shift on Thursday, October 18th and Friday, October 19th. You must have a parental consent on file in the clinic. If you are not registered as a patient, you want to pick up a flu shot, then come back, come by the clinic to pick up a consent form to take home today. T-shirts for the homecoming dance are now on sale during both lunch shifts in Miss Knox's room. This year, you can choose from the amazing colors of red, blue, and dark gray. The colors will be on a first come and first serve basis. We'll wear our shirts with the jeans to the dance. No skirts unless it is for a religious reason. The shirt will be $15 and will, all, and will be your ticket into the dance. Also, make sure you bring your school ID or a driver's license. Do you need money for college? In addition to local scholarships, there are also national scholarships that you can apply for. Today's scholarship is the Education Matters $5,000 scholarship. Stop by guidance and see our career coaches, Ms. Kristen Nobles and Melanie Grubbs, for more information. The fourth annual Rebel Runway will be held Tuesday, November 6th. Purchase your ticket from a Rebel cheerleader today. There will be a math ACT workshop this Saturday at West Monroe from 8 until 11.30. The fee is $50 for new student and no fee for returning students. See Ms. Causey for more information. An Essence of Autumn photo contest is being held on November 10th with professional photographers judging and giving tips. All entries are due November 5th and there are two entry categories, landscape and architecture and classic portrait. This contest is helping our fellow student Joey Hagera with his Eagle Scout project, so please enter. October is Say No to Domestic Violence Month. West Monroe High School is participating in the first annual competition. This competition puts West Monroe against other high schools raising money for the abused women and children's shelter. West Monroe will be selling bracelets all next week and this week too. Be prepared to purchase your bracelet and help say no to domestic violence. Today's fact about domestic violence is men who as children witnessed their parents' domestic violence were twice as likely to abuse their own wives and sons than sons of non-violent non parents. For the ACT, you must present a paper, paper ticket or for standby admission. You will be denied admission if you do not have a paper ticket. Also, to test standby, students must present a paper standby ticket at check-in and be listed on the standby roster. Your ticket ID and the roster must match. And now we're going to leave you with our ACT fact of the day. You must be seated in the testing room before booklets are passed out or you will not be able to test. Well, that's all we have today. Uh, see you later. Bye, listener.